Hello everyone and welcome back to another video tutorial. I did show you this page before in a previous video, uh, this one here, and this was an actual uh, web uh, WooCommerce project which I did for a client using Visual Composer. Um, but after I bought uh, Astra, Astra Theme and Elementor uh, page builder, I wanted to recreate that site uh, using these amazing tools to see what can I do for just for the sake of playing around and testing and uh, I end up with this page um, also this logo here is not the actual logo for the other site it's just a logo which I uh, I did uh, uh, to use on my uh, testing sites anyway uh, someone asked me how did I do this um, vertical uh, menu here for categories as you can see you can just open it and close it also the background and icons on the left and uh, this is actually a very simple and easy thing to do but you must have uh, the pro version of Elementor page builder so you need to have uh, Elementor Pro if you are using the free version uh, sorry to, uh, to say that uh, you're out of luck but uh, you can just uh, watch uh, because I'm sure one day you will end up buying this uh, fantastic tool so let us see how we're gonna do uh, this uh, vertical menu. In fact, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna build the whole section with this slider. Of course, it's not gonna be the exact slider because I use uh, different plugins, but I'm gonna use uh, the default one which comes with the Elementor Pro and it's just a simple slider. And I'm gonna do this menu. So we're gonna do the whole section. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, we're gonna go to the back end and I'm gonna add a new page. Uh, let me call it. Uh, uh, let me call it WooCommerce page. Uh, WooCommerce page. And I'm gonna set it to default, uh, publish, edit with Elementor. Uh, the first thing to do is just to add uh, this section here. So I'm gonna add, uh, this is actually in fact two columns. So I'm gonna add two columns here. And this one here, uh, token sizes now, uh, the whole thing, the content size, gonna be 1200. If you, if you divide it by four, so it's 300, 300, 300, 300. So this one is 900, this one 300, which is 25% and 75%. So I come over here, uh, this one here. Uh, let me go to the section first, make it 1200 here. And I make it stretch because I need, let me give it a color too so you can, uh, you guys see it. Um, give it lighter color like that. Okay, so this column here, the left one, it will be 25. And this one is going to be 75. Okay, so this is going to be like 900 pixel and this is going to be um, 300. Uh, also, I'm gonna go to the column here. I'm gonna make it zero because I don't need any uh, margin or padding for both of them. Okay. Now, uh, let me build this slider first because it's gonna be uh, very simple, very easy to do. I'm gonna go uh, here, add. Uh, if you go to Pro Elements, you will see the slides. I just drag one here and I will make it 500. Okay. Also, I just need two slides for the sake of simplicity. And this one here, I can add image. I already got one image here, this one. And for the content, I will delete all the content because it's not really my focus today in, uh, on this video. Uh, also, I'm gonna go to the second one, add another image, which is this one here. Do the same thing with the content. Take all the content out, I don't need them. Okay, so I got two slides. As for this arrows, I don't need the arrows to be honest with you. So I will go to slider options and get none. Uh, and I, in fact, actually, let me add the dots, but uh, they are very tiny. Uh, you cannot even see them. So I go to styles, uh, navigation, uh, they are inside. I give them a color, maybe white. Also the size and make it a little bit bigger so you can see them. Here we go. So you can see them now. Okay, also before I forgot the spaces between uh, these two columns and I want it to be uh, column gap, I need no gap. I don't need gap in between. 
I will show you how to add gap later on, but for this, uh, for now, just leave it as it is, no gap. So I will update. So the next thing, okay, this is the slider, it's working, okay. We're gonna go back here to the main thing here. Uh, we're gonna add image to the column background. So I come over here to this column here, style, background type, I'll add this background image here. Of course you can you can see it now, but let me position it, center, center, and size, cover, and update. Now we need to add this collapsed menu here, open and close. I'm gonna use uh, accordion. So for this one here, uh, I'll use accordion here, just drag it. Okay, now you can see the background. Uh, as you can see, you got a, a two by default. I will delete one. And for this one here, I will make it categories. Or if you can add all categories. <clears throat> uh, this text here, just delete him. I don't need the, the text. Uh, also, if you look here, this is uh, the icons, which is the plus sign here. As you can see here, this is the plus sign. You can change it from here if you want. You can choose any one you want, but I will leave it for default. Also, the active menu, if you open and close, you can see it's minus here, which is this one. You can play around with it if you want to change them, but for now, I'll leave them. I go to styles, um, go to title. For the style here, uh, the background of this one, uh, I'll make it, uh, let me see. Okay, we got this orange color. Let me make it orange. Okay, let me make it orange for now. And for the color, I'll make it white. Okay. Um, for the active one, when you open or close it, I will leave it as it is for the default. As for the size here, I will make the transform and make it uppercase. I need the whole thing to be uh, uppercase. Uh, for the title, I make it maybe 17 pixels. Okay, and that's it. So I can click update and you can see now we are getting there. Now we're going to go back to the menu. So I'm going to open, go over here, right click. Click open link in a new tab because I want to go to the uh, dashboard. Go Elementor, my library because we're going to create our menu uh, in the library. Add new. Let me call it shop uh, v menu. Okay, I can you can call it whatever you want anyway, so it doesn't matter the name. And I'll make sure that it's Elementor Canvas. Okay, I don't need any default. Uh, Template, I will, I will choose Elementor Canvas, Publish, and Edit with Elementor. Okay, let me just drag it in here. Now I'm gonna make a new section. Okay, this one here. And I will add uh, the menu. If you go under Pro Element, uh, let's call where it is, it's Nav Menu, I drag it here. Okay, uh, the menu here is Categories, but you got all, you got all your menus, uh, over here, by the way, let me just show you something here uh, before I forgot. If I go to the dashboard, if I go appearances, menus, you can see that I got two menus here, main menu and categories. Uh, for the categories, I got here the custom links, but uh, this is actually for the sake of simplicity. But if you have WooCommerce, of course you can build your uh, vertical menu with any uh, items you want, but if you have WooCommerce, uh, plugin installed in, installed already in your system, you can uh, get all your categories and just add them here as a menu. But uh, as I said, for the simplicity of this uh, tutorial, I added a custom menu here. Also, the number of menus, it depends on the size uh, of your menu, as we will see now. So if I, if I come over here, uh, this is the menu. Uh, actually, this one here, let me click on it. You can choose your menu from here. Layout, I need it to be vertical. Okay, of course you got options here, horizontal drop, uh, horizontal drop down, but for this video I will choose vertical. Align it left, I want it to be aligned left. As you can see, when you mouse over, you got this green uh, underline. You can choose the pointer from here. Okay, you can choose whatever, but for now I will, I will use background because I need, when I hover, I'll see a background. Of course, this green color, I'm gonna change it. Um, uh, in a moment. The animation here, you can choose your animation. For example, if you choose shutter in horizontal, now, as you can see, there's different effects here. You can just try all of them and choose whatever you like, okay? For now, I will choose the simple one, which is fade. 
sub menu indicator as you can see here there is a sub menu if you go here to the menu you will see i got two menus here like sub menus this one here you can see this arrow here this is classic chevron okay and you got angle and plus you can choose whatever you want uh, for now i'll choose the, the number one classic one or oh, you know what i just uh, sorry i gotta choose chevron okay this is break point if you're not adjusting in and uh, adjust the menu and uh, in the mobile uh, anyway, let me choose the color. So I come over here for the styles. When mouse over the text color, uh, let me see. Okay, we got the orange and black. So let me let me make this one black. So the background. Uh, let me see the background here. Under advanced background, I will choose black. Okay. Now I go back to the style. This one here, make it the color, make it white, like a little bit off white. Here we go, like that. Okay. And um, for the topography, uh, let me see. Uh, um, for the size, maybe I make it 1 em. Okay. Or you can choose the size you want anyway. It's just, it's up to you. You can choose whatever. I will make it 1. Uh, for the weight, let me make it 900 or oh, this too much i'll make it 600 uh i'll make it capitalize here we go and that's it for horizontal padding uh this one you can see what it does i'll make it uh 12 okay of course you can do it whatever you want but for now i'll make it 12. for the vertical padding this one here and the space in between it depends on the size of uh, or the height of your section here. Uh, if you remember, we chose 500 for the height. So you have to play with this one because it depends on how many uh, menu items you have. Okay, how many uh, items here you have. You have to play with it until you reach uh, the right uh, height anyway. And because I tried this before, so I'm going to choose 14 <coughs> for the height. And for the spacing, I'll add it maybe 1.5. <clears throat> also, uh, we're going to go to the column here and I'll make sure it's zeros because I don't need any spacing here. Okay. And this is the sub menu, by the way. Uh, what else? Oh, we have to cho uh, change the color here for the background. So we've got styled uh, for the pointer. Um, go here. Styled. And uh, the hover. Pointer color, I will choose this one here. So here we go. So it is the same like the color we're using, the color scheme we're using here. So we got everything uh, right now. We're gonna save, update. Uh, if I go over here and I go Elementor, my library, you will see I got a short code here for this nav menu. I double click, Control C or Command C if you are on Mac. I'll go over here to the categories, okay, and this one here, I'll go to text and paste this menu here. Click update. And if you see here, let me review it. Click here, review. Here we go. We got the menu, but if you, if you notice there is a space around it. For this one here, you need to add uh, a code. I will put the code in, uh, in, in the video uh, uh, description if you, if you just want to copy it. I'll go to advance for, um, uh, the accordion advanced custom CSS. I will paste this code here. This one. Then I will click update. And as soon as I click update, you can see that we got everything in place. If you have noticed, uh, there is uh, here there is um, there is uh, uh, bottom uh, bottom border here. So let me add this one. So I go to the menu. Okay, this one here. Click the menu and I go to where it is. Advanced border. I go down to border type solid. Width for the bottom. I guess just make it five. And I will choose this one here. The color, the same color as you can see. Click update. Go over here. Refresh. You can see now we got the menu. And if you, if I don't know if you see it or not, there is a little bit gap at the bottom. And also this line here in between, it's, it's very wide. So let me fix that. Let me fix that. 
And also we, we still have the icons to do. So let me fix the bottom one first. So I go to the menu here and maybe this one here, let me see the styles. Maybe let me make it 1.6, click update. I'm doing this so you can see exactly where to play if you have a space uh, down here. And it's a little bit more, so let me make it 1.7. I think this one will fix this uh, bottom issue here. So if I update, yes, exactly. So we got the same size here. Okay, so now there is no space in between. Okay, now back to this line. I will go back here. Okay, for the accordion. Let me see. Um, advanced style. Yeah, I got a style, a border color here, and I will make it maybe black uh, or maybe white. Let me make it that dark. If I update, uh, let me see here. As you can see, I'll make it a little bit more darker. So go down here, update. Yeah, here we go. Looks nicer now. Okay, so this is everything now except we need to add the icons here. Okay, so I will show you how to, to do the icons. Uh, we need to go to uh, fontawesome.com. Uh, uh, they just changed the design of uh, their uh, site. But anyway, you click icons here on the top. Okay, and you will, uh, you will see all the icons. Some of them are uh, black, some of them are gray. And the gray one, uh, the gray ones are the pro version ones. Uh, you need to buy them. Uh, the black one, the free version. But anyway, you can filter all the icons using this menu, uh, the left here. You can just click free. You will see all the free ones. And you can choose whatever you want. Say, for example, if we choose home, if we just choose to search for one, you get the, the home here. And you will see there is a link down here, this link here. Okay. And of course, there's a lot of information here. You can just uh, copy this link, but anyway, if you wanna read more, okay. Copy that one and go over here to the menus, okay. And we're gonna paste it before the name, before the name, okay. So I'm gonna paste it before the name like that and click save menu. So if I come over here and refresh, you will see that we got the icon here. Uh, also for this, uh, this animation one or the animated one, if you go to Font Awesome, I don't know where they bought it, but because they changed it since the last time I used it. But I think if you go up uh, over here, yeah, JavaScript one, SVG was the uh, JavaScript, you will see, you can read about it anyway, uh, if you want to. Uh, you will see, like, here we go, there is an uh, animated one here, this is the one I got, and you can see the code in here. Also, you got more in here. But anyway, as I said, all these uh, uh, icons you see in here, I will put it in the description of this video. So you can copy it if you want, and uh, just go back and change the icons, the name of the icons from, from here. Uh, the last thing to do for this one, I need to add a more breathing room here. So I'm gonna go over here uh, to this section and add, ad under advanced, I'll add 25 margin uh, on the top and the bottom, click update. As soon as I click update, you got this section here. So we got the menu, okay, we got the slider here, okay, and we got everything is working, we got the icons, we got everything. So this uh, was it guys, uh, I hope you liked the video, and if you do, please uh, subscribe to my channel so you can encourage me to make more videos and you can also uh, learn with me and uh, design with me. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next video. Bye-bye.